And then a baby's head comes out, and I'm screaming. And my brother, who's videotaping the whole thing, turns green. His eyes roll up in his head, he blacks out. He drops the camera, the camera breaks, and then the placenta comes flying out. Whoa! And then a doctor says, hey, thanks. That's enough. Will you look at that kid? Sucking away. Sucking like there's no tomorrow. Suck, suck, suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, Jerry, look at that. Yeah, I looked. I, I, I saw it. This doesn't make you uncomfortable, does it? No. no. Comfortable, not at all. My friend's wife's breast is sticking out. Why would that make me uncomfortable? Look at him. So uh, how long do they do this? A year or two. No break? After that comes the weaning. So after the sucking comes the weaning. First the sucking, then the weaning. Well, you gotta wean. Gotta wean. Must wean. <laughs> What about that spot I got? Huh? Yeah, I saw the spot. <laughs> you open the door to the car, boom, you walk right into the hospital. <laughs> you can't beat that spot. <laughs> I am on a roll. <laughs> I'm just willing these great parking spots. George. Maybe the baby would like to see the spot. <laughs> a positive, uplifting message to start his life out with, huh? You can still get a great spot in this city if you apply yourself. <laughs> hey, where's Kramer? Shouldn't he be here by now? Did you give him the room number? Yeah, 1397. 1937. 1937, 1937. Excuse me. Do you know where the elevator is? Uh, yeah, it's right around the corner there. 1937. <laughs> It's a big man! A big man! So anyway, Jerry, Elaine, we have something we want to ask you. You gotta look at this. I pulled it in perfectly equidistant from the car in front of me and the car behind me. Would you shut up, I'm George? taking a cab home. I can't take this anymore. You were saying, Stan, I, I'm sorry, but <laughs> Myra and I would like you and Elaine to be the godparents of Stephen. <gasps> Oh. Me? A godfather? Yes. I'm gonna go against the family over there. What? Hey, I just saw a pig man. A pig man? You know, he was sleeping and then he woke up and he looked at me and, and he made this horrible sound, this... Hey, but what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about a pig man. I walked into the wrong room and there he was. A pig man. A pig man, half pig, half man. That's, that's great, Kramer. So, so anyway, well, tell us here. what's involved in being a godparent. Oh. Well, they never asked me about my business. <laughs> Godfather? The most important thing is you help with the bris. The bris? A bris? You mean circumcision? Yeah. <sighs> I would advise against that. Kramer, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, so was uh, sacrificing virgins to appease the gods, but we don't do that anymore. Well, maybe we should. <laughs> hey, why are all those people milling around my car? I don't know. Maybe they're admiring your spot. They're looking up. Hey, there's a guy up on the roof. <gasps> Whoa, that's a guy I told where the elevator was. <laughs> oh, God, I hope he doesn't jump. Oh, my oh, God! <laughs> A moil is the person that performs a circumcision. Well, where am I going to find a moil? Motels, models. How do you find a moil? Finding a moil is a piece of cake. Any idiot can find a moil. I have to hold the baby while they do it. That's a tough job. How would you like that? Hey, Jerry, you ever seen one? What do you mean that wasn't, uh. Yeah. No, you? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think? He had no face, no personality. It was like a Martian. But hey, you know, that's me. Hey! <laughs>